so that was obviously uh, the way you talked about needing to play. You guys finally did it. You put it on the court. It was a lot like what maybe we saw at Colorado and a lot earlier this season. Good, unselfish, patient offense, and then really strong defense. Yeah, I you know, I don't think this team has any selfishness in them. They just, for whatever reason, last game needed to happen. And I thought we went back home and you know, I had a great film session. It was really honest. Uh, Prentice made a great comment about, you know, what, the, I said, what's the problem, Prentice? What do we have to do after a, a, a very direct film session like I talked about? And he said, you know, um, our attitudes have to change about the way we're playing uh, for our performance to change. And I said, boy, I've told you that a hundred times, Prentice. So we, we got our tempo into the game, you know, it's as much on me as it is on them. You know, we saw some things, the film was glaring, we were passing and standing or, or just screening away. We put a lot of pressure on the rim today offensively and ran a lot of time off. It made them guard us. What I like is we're, our deal is we're trying to grow an inch at a time and, you know, just an inch at a time, inch at a time. And I thought we did that today. And I think there's a lot of room for improvement. How nice was it to get out to such a big lead early? Obviously they had a huge student crowd that was into it, right? You know, I know the overall crowd maybe not quite as big, but that student crowd was big, vocal, and really wanting to get on your get players, and you guys just kind of shut them up for the first half. I thought the crowd really helped us, and I'll tell you why. It, it was kind of dull and flat in Fresno, and uh, you know the home the home court diminishes, Kelly, like we've talked about as the season goes on. Even when you're playing three sophomores or two freshmen, sometimes. In your in your five, uh, it it just it isn't quite as effective as it is early. So I thought it actually inspired us a little bit and said, "Wow, look at all these people!" And we kind of it it centered on us just a little bit lower that might have been the difference in the game. So what do you think might have hurt us? Helped us, and then we never let them get into the game as far as the crowd. I told them at halftime. Trust me, I know how loud it's going to get. They're going to make some type of run, and we just have to withstand it. And I thought we made some great plays to really not let the game ever be in doubt. Just, did you ever worry about the Boise situation coming up again? Because that was a game that you guys kind of led the whole way. Never maybe as as much as you led this one, but when they start making that run, three minutes to go. No, I didn't think about that. I just we always had a three possession lead, and and so. I wasn't really worried about winning or losing. I was worried about the way we were playing. Um, and that's how I always kind of coach. Sure, you want to win, you don't want to lose. But if you coach not to lose, it, I just kept trying to teach every play. And they were as receptive as they've been. The game usually breaks them down during the timeouts. And you know they struggle, and that's, that's common with youth. But I thought we made it clear, no cell phones on this trip uh, in the locker rooms. We made it clear that during this time out, you're gonna look at me. If I ask you what I just said, you're gonna have, you're, you're gonna give me exactly what I just said back. And so it's just teaching tools that these guys need at such a young age. I mean, they're terrific guys. They just need somebody who's gonna help them mature uh, an inch at a time. That's what we did tonight. Was there just better focus then, you think, too? On top of everything yeah, I, else, just I, I, a lot more focus and attention to the details? I thought we were really bothered by the Fresno game. I think that got their instant focus. And I think the film session, you know, we, we had it at 7 in the morning. And, uh, and I, I, you know, it was a long film session, longer than it's been all year. And I thought, you know, I really wasn't any different than I've been, just very direct. and. And when I, I, I told them, uh, you know, I, I'm the first guy to tell somebody they're doing well, too. And I just love the way that team didn't take it personal in the film session, took it to heart, went out from the film session and got it on the practice court. And then the trick was to transfer it in a tough place to win. Like we obviously 9,000 people. And I thought we did all three.